Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today we are going to talk about taxonomic ranks and the first question is the correct sequence from the most to the least comprehensive of the taxonomic levels listed here is if you do not remember all taxonomic ranks which are seven today I want to offer you some mnemonic techniques how to memorize at least last four. So take a look everyone knows that scientific name consists of genus and species. So let's choose those lines which ends with genus and species and this is going to be this one, this one and this one. So three out of five. Now here's mnemonic technique. If you have for example one person is it a family or not? No. In order to make a family you need at least two people. It's better to have also children so your family would be bigger but minimum you have to have two people in order to make a family. So this is not scientific method, this is just mnemonic technique that next taxonomic rank is a family. So let's check. Here is a family and here is a family. So at least one of these two have to be the correct answer. Now how to memorize next taxonomic rank that goes above family. Again this is not scientific method, just a mnemonic technique. So when you are alone and you don't have a family, you are free to do anything you want. But when you form a family, when there are at least two people, now you start making rules. For example, who is earning money and who is doing a walk around the house. So rules bring order. And this is only one variant here. So this is going to be hierarchy, which is species, genus, family, order. So the correct answer is answer. B. Now I want you to take a look at this taxonomic ranks. So we have species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom and domain. If you do not remember all of them, at least now, I hope you would remember the order of the last four. And here is another question. If organisms A, B and C belong to the same class but to different orders, and if organism D, E and F belong to the same order but different families, which of the following pairs of organisms would be expected to show the greatest degree of structural homology? Now I want you to take a look at this picture. And we are told that organisms A, B and C belong to the same class. So let's say to the same class is going to be this one. I am showing it with red color but to different orders. So for example, this one, this one and this one. This is going to be A, B and C. And organisms D, E and F belong to the same order but to different families. So same order is going to be here. But different families again. For example, this one, this one and this one. So D, E and F. Now you can see that organisms that belong to the same order but to different families would be much more homologous than organisms that belong to the same class but to different orders. So as you see the only correct answer here is going to be answer E. This is going to be organism D and F. They are going to be most homologous among all the rest variants. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.